Hello everyone. Welcome to Reading Stories Give Joy. Today's story is Curious George Builds an Igloo. It was a beautiful winter morning. George was up early. Next door, his friend Bill was up too. Bill was building a house out of snow. It's called an igloo. Bill said, I'm going to sleep in it tonight. George wanted to help. He also wanted to sleep in the igloo. It would be a lot of fun. George tried stacking some blocks of snow. It was not easy. They kept slipping and sliding. First, you make a circle in the snow, said Bill. The snow blocks go around the circle. This makes a sturdy base for more snow blocks to go on top. Bill showed George how to stack snow blocks on top of the base. Around and around they went until there was only a hole left at the top. The last piece is called the keystone, Bill said. It keeps all the other snow blocks in place. You have to fill in all the cracks, Bill said. This keeps the igloo nice and warm inside. They smoothed out the snow blocks. Bill and George filled all the spaces with snow. George was impressed, but Bill's igloo was a little small. George wanted to build his own igloo, a big igloo that could fit his pet and some friends and maybe a party with music. George got to work. This time he made the circle bigger. He stacked the snow blocks around and around just as Bill had taught him. George worked on his igloo until the sun went down. It was a big igloo. It even had a window. But George was a tired monkey. He did not have time to fill all the cracks with snow. The man with the yellow that helped move George's warm bed into the igloo. George bundled up and went to sleep. Soon George woke up. He was very cold. The window was drafty. The cracks were letting the cold air in. George really wanted to spend the night in an igloo. What could he do? Then George had an idea. The man had told George to come inside if he got cold. So George worked quickly and built a new igloo in his living room. It was nice and warm inside the house. He crawled into his new igloo and went to sleep again. The living room was the perfect temperature for sleeping, but it was too warm for a house made of snow. George's indoor igloo began to melt. When George woke up the next morning, his igloo had melted. It had turned into a big puddle and a big mess to clean up. Lucky for George, his outdoor igloo was still standing. The big igloo was too cold for sleeping, but it was just right for a party. George and his friends spent the whole winter playing in his big igloo until it melted away in the spring. Thank you everybody for listening. I'll get back to you with a new story the next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.